Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Let's do some wizards. So this is the current build of it. We're trying to leverage, of course, the new Stormkin as one of our cheap flying hasty wizards to go with our Adelis. And a nice combo in this deck is Dreadheart Arcanist with Adelis. Since if we cast any cheap instant or sorcery, we get to pump the Arcanist. And then we get to flash back uh, more expensive instants and sorceries from the graveyard, like maybe a Chard of Course or a Lightning Strike. And then of course we've got our four copies of Wizard's Lightning as a Lightning Bolt essentially in this deck. And then Reckless Rage as a more powerful removal spell to combine with Augur Bolas, Arcanist. And if we have Adelis, we also give Adelis plus one plus one. So it doesn't die to the two damage from Reckless Rage. So there's some neat uh, synergies going on. And then our curve topper is God Eternal Kefnet. We're on the play. Not a great hand. No creatures, no red mana. I think I'll mulligan. Eh, this is a bit better. The mana base is a bit awkward with two Sulfur Falls. But I'm still willing to keep and then... What to put on the bottom? Probably the Lightning Strike. So I can go turn 2 Opt, turn 3, play one of these. The Opt fuels the Arcanist. And then Wizard's Lightning should just be 1 mana instead of 2 mana for Lightning Strike. A drawing a basic land or a steam fence wouldn't be bad. Alright, so now we have to decide what to play first. I think I'm leaning Arcanist, just to get that going first. And then next turn I can maybe clear a path with the Wizard's Lightning, or just cast an op twice. So using Wizard's Lightning on Lieutenant, not ideal, but I'm probably still gonna do it just to get past it. I mean, I could just kind of let it sit there since we can still attack into it with the Arcanist and then get our spells back. So I could just opt twice, maybe that's the play, and then wait until I maybe find an Adelis before I bother getting rid of it. Don't need more lands. Charter Course isn't bad. Eh, let's just attack. Cast our free opts while we can. Probably don't need a third chart, of course. Looking for additional creatures here, Adelis being the best one. Alright. So that's the downside of not killing the lieutenant. But then, um, I mean, they still would have had a token if they really wanted to Reckless Rage. What is this? Defiant Strike. So this looks like a Naya Feather deck running a Lieutenant. And it does make sense. Lieutenant kind of being a sticky creature that if it dies often leaves a token behind. So it seems like a pretty nice fit for kind of a Feather deck. So I'll start by attacking and then casting Charter Course. Right, so I'm just gonna hang on to Opt and Wizard's Lining here. And hopefully we can draw some more creatures along the way. If our opponent plays a Feather, we could be in trouble since we only have 3 damage at the moment. So we'll need to dig into a uh, couple more burn spells or a creature plus a Reckless Rage. I'll take 2 for now. Hopefully they don't have a God's Willing, otherwise it's going to be real difficult to kill this feather. Opponent does seem to be holding something. Another Stormkin. I mean, before Feather came down I would have kept this, but now I'm not sure. I think I bought him. Well, get one anyway. Bottom. So... Yeah, if our opponent is holding, let's say, a God's Willing, then it's going to be pr 
pretty difficult to get rid of this feather and therefore difficult to win the game. I guess we'll go digging with opts. And hope they just don't have the gods willing and just keep a burn spell on top. Arcanists doesn't quite do it. Second wizard lining, so if they don't have the gods willing, then this would be good to go. I guess we go for it. I mean, ideally I would have a third burn spell, so I can wizard lining, and then if they respond with gods willing, I have two more burn spells, or if they let the first one resolve and gods willing a response of the second one, I can still burn feather twice. But letting them untap with Feather seems like a mistake. So I think I'm probably forced to go for it anyway. I guess I might as well do this first. I probably should have before playing the Stormkin cast a Wizard Sliding twice. Alright, so they do have the Gods Willing, so this is probably game over now. Don't see myself beating Feather with Gods Willing. And three cards in hand. So I guess, yeah, I could have attacked if her opponent blocks, I let damage happen, suiciding a Stormkin. And then I go for Wizard Slining, and if the God's willing, I have a second Wizard Slining. But, I mean, it's not guaranteed their opponent has God's willing, and then we're kind of giving up a Stormkin for free. So I'm not sure what the correct play is, but now we're just dead, so I guess maybe I should have reconsidered. If they do have the God's willing, maybe they don't block. That's also possible. Yeah, that is true. If we trade a Stormkin, then we would have had an extra Lightning if they didn't have the Gods Willing, if they blocked. But it is important to keep creatures in play, since that's kind of our only form of pressure to actually close out the game. It's a pretty ugly situation no matter what. This hand seems okay, just because we have Augur to potentially find a cheap instant or sorcery to go with the Arcanist. So I think I'm fine just playing the Arcanist here before Stormkin. Do only have single blue, so I can't next turn Stormkin plus opts with the Arcanist in play, which is the drawback here. And of course I can't get back Wizard's Lightning for one mana. So maybe I do Stormkin here and then next turn I can opt plus Arcanist. Yeah, you could... Replace Angra Bolas with Burning Prophet. Both are good cards. So I'm just gonna opt plus Arcanist. Any reason to opt first? Might as well. Does your opponent have another Veil of Summer in hand, perhaps? I guess opting end of turn prevents them from casting another Veil of Summer. So maybe I should have waited anyway, since it's not like I could have drawn anything that would have changed my play here. Blue-green. So now what? Can attack, get back an opt. Probably just play Kefnet. Try and find an Odalis to win the game on the spot, basically. Not gonna say no to 3 damage for 1 mana. So opponent could just be dead next turn. No Nexus of Fate to be worried about, but they could have Reclamation. There it is. So we'll probably see some Fogs being cast soon. But we've got 9 points of burn, and they might still take it and then start Fogging next turn. But if they do, then they're dead to burn. Alright, so they Fog right now. 
I guess I still chart a course. Just looking for more burn. They could technically put Blast Zone on two here. We have enough pressure in play where we don't really need more creatures, but I guess just digging for a burn spell with Augur would have been fine since I'm probably not firing off triple lightning right now, or am I? Reveal lightning strike. Well, I didn't know that this interaction worked that way. Well, I guess that's pretty cool. Alright, so now they're just toast. Well, I guess it was correct not to play the Augur Bolas after all. Alright. Hand seems fine. Chart, of course, to dig for some creatures. Epiphany to scry towards one. Probably got a shocked elf here. So mono green stompy, and lots of burn. Although if they play a steel leaf champion, it's going to be difficult to kill. So we're facing a potential Galta out of the opponent's deck. And the only way to beat Galta is to race them, or just to kill creatures so they can't cast Galta in the first place. I do want to get this blue mana down, but it also means letting them keep the Lanarals. If they play like a Nullhide Ferox, we're going to be in trouble too. So I think I still killed Alf. So at least no Steel Leaf Champions that we need to worry about for now. Man, do I keep playing Mountains and casting Burn Spells, or do I finally get this Temple in play? They could easily be holding a Nullhide Ferox or a Galta. Another Crawl Harpooner, perhaps. Probably just killed Pelt Collector. The reach on the Harpooner is relevant, it stops some of our Flyers but I'm guessing the Pelt Collector is going to get bigger than the Harpooner over time. Would have been a 3-3 already. And there's a blue creature. Do need more mountains. And I guess since they can give this Hexproof, we should probably just kill the Harpooner. Any reason to do it now? I guess if they have a pump spell. Alright, so at least if they have a Galta in hand, it's going to be a while before they can cast it. A Reckless Rage, not too useful right now, but maybe next turn. This is a null hide. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to kill. Not a reckless rage. So we'll attack. Yeah, I mean I could also wizard slining the troll. 
But then we still need to deal with a Ferox. I'm not outracing the opponent at 16. Even if I find an Adelis, I don't think that's going to work out. So that's kind of the the decision, I guess. I can chart the course, Wizard's Lining and the Troll. But then if I Wizard's Lining, I also lose a burn spell to potentially outrace a Ferox. So I don't think that's going to work out. I think my best bet is to just double Reckless Rage, hope to draw into another wizard, hope the opponent's just holding double Galta, and maybe I can outrace a troll eventually or kill it with a uh, lightning and just play a grindier game. So let me go full control here so I can make sure to respond to my own Reckless Rage. Right, Troll and Spelt Collector. So now what? I mean, Opt digs as deep as Chartercores, and with Chartercores, if we find a, a hasty creature, maybe we could draw an additional card, and we might need the extra mana. So I guess I will Opt. Island doesn't really help. Arcanists, all right. I guess we'll play that, and then I can block Belt Collector and potentially Wizard Slining the Troll as well. So I think I want to wait until the opponent's turn, since then they're maybe not attacking with Belt Collector. Alright, I guess that's no longer the case now. But basically, if they just attack with a troll, I can Wizard's Lightning it and then block it with the Arcanist. Whereas, and as we see Galta go to the graveyard, so they might have one in hand still. Now I might be better off Wizard's Lightning in the Jade Lights. So yeah, now I think I just block Belt Collector, Lightning the Jade Light, so I can attack with Arcanist and get back an Opt. Or a Shock. Take three. Not sure how we get out of this. We'll need some lucky top decks, but I guess it's not impossible. So yeah, shock on Pelt Collector is not going to work out. So I need to attack and then... Or I guess Reckless Rage works too, since now we have a three toughness creature. So I can Reckless Rage the Pelt Collector. Charter course and hope to draw something. Seems fine. All right, that uh, keeps us alive for now. So I guess I want a lightning strike. I'm probably better off lightning striking in the opponent's turn. So they have to spend one mana saving the troll. And they're pretty far away from casting a Galta. So the three additional power in play shouldn't matter. Probably could have tapped my mana, so I kept up a single red, but that's fine. And there's Adelis. Alright. So I can play Adelis Attack, Reckless Rage, or Shock. And play Arcanist, and then next turn we might have Lethal. I guess now I'll go for the Shock. Keep Reckless Rage in the graveyard for now. And then next turn I could Reckless Rage plus Opt. I guess now Reckless Rage might not have a target if they don't have any creatures they play out. 
So I, I might not be able to cast it, but uh, yeah, I guess her opponent explodes, so that was quite a comeback. Alright, so how about this one? It's probably fine. Just digging for some more creatures with this opt. Hopefully Augur doesn't miss. Yeah, that'll do. Given that we have double charter course, I'll take the shock. And if we are up against mono blue, all these cheap burn spells are quite effective. So I can play Adalus, although playing Adalus with no mana up plays right into a Murfolk Trickster, which is not ideal. So I think I would rather play the Arcanist here. So I can attack for one, play Arcanist, say go. Should have played my land first in case of Syncopate. No reason not to. Alright, SS Capture. That's fine. Alright, so maybe Adalus gets the resolve. Taps out for a Tempest Gin, and Reckless Rage is a perfect answer here. So, yeah, let's kill that, and then I can still chart a course. Do need more lands, just digging for more creatures at this point. Another Dreadhorde Arcanist would do nicely, Stormkin would be fine. And there's a Stormkin, opponent's got 3 mana up. So I think I'll go Stormkin... Hmm, it's actually interesting, so if we want to play around a counterspell, I would want to play the Stormkin first and then Adalus. If I want to play around a Merfolk Trickster, then I would want to play Adalus with a burn spell as backup. Now I guess I could Stormkin, if it resolves, play Adalus and not attack with Adalus. Either way I'm probably leading with Stormkin. And ideally they just counter this and I get to attack with a hasty Adalus. Right. Stormkin resolved. I think then I just attack. If they Trickster I can shock the Trickster and then still chart a course. That seems fine. Go full control just in case here. And I have both Shock and Lightning Strike, so Trickster plus Dive Down we can still beat. Alright, so that works out. Alright, so plenty of burn spells in hand. They could still have a counter spell, but I think at this point I'm still kind of forced to play Adalus. Cutthroat into Essence Capture. Alright, let's uh, kill that thing. Put on down to 12. I've got 6 points of burn. Kefnet's not bad. Start by attacking. Yeah, Wizards should have an okay matchup against these kind of blue flashy decks. Just because we can get a creature out quickly for just 1 or 2 mana. And then kind of keep up a bunch of cheap instant speed removal spells. A Reckless Rage especially against a blue-green flash deck. Being able to take out a Ambusher for just 1 mana is a pretty big deal. On the play, yeah, this is a pretty ideal hand. I guess not totally perfect, since the Reckless Rage doesn't quite combo with the Stormkin by itself. And uh, we are dependent on having a creature in play to cast a Reckless Rage. But uh, the opts can help us find whatever we need. So what does this hand need? A third land, 
at some point, maybe another creature, like an Arcanist or an Augur Bolas, and maybe another burn spell. But uh, for the most part, we have everything we need. Let's see what we're up against. Blue green. Is it the turn one elf? Or maybe it's the flash deck and they want to opt on turn one as well. Shock. Hmm. And against blue green flash, how good is shock? It's okay, it can kill a cutthroat for one mana. And then we can save the reckless rage for the ambusher. So I think I like it. Alright, I think I take this opportunity to get the Arcanist out there. Gives us something to combo with the Reckless Rage before they get a chance to like counter this with an Essence Scatter or Essence Capture. And great combo with Shock and Opt and Reckless Rage. So that was a good draw. Spectral Sailor also makes sense, so blue-green flash confirmed. Ooh, never mind. Sultai with Spectral Sailor. Alright, well, now I guess Arcanus could be dead. Tarant Scorn. Well, that's unfortunate. Took a turn for the worse. Probably just uh, Stormkin attack. That's a tank. Islands, probably bottom. I could shock the sailor right now. I kind of want to keep these spells after we play Atlas. Don't mind getting hit for one with the sailor, but I don't want them drawing cards if that's the only play they make. I guess I'll upkeep it. Since they won't have 4 mana yet, and if they play a second Sailor, then I don't really mind letting them keep it. Cutthroat, I do need to kill. So let's just uh, shock the Cutthroat then, I guess. And then probably just let them untap with the Sailor. And I'm probably opting end of turn, even though it's a nice spell to have alongside Adelis. Don't necessarily expect Adelis to stick around. Kefnuts, I mean, yeah, that's a, a good card. We don't have the land for it yet, but it seems impactful enough that I want to keep it. And another shock. It's Atlas attack. They might have another Tyrant Scorn, perhaps. Or just a counterspell. They can't uh, Merfolk Tricksters, at least. Another Cutthroat. That's fine. If we get to untap with Atlas, we're in great shape. Opponent keeping back Spectral Sailor. It's a sign of weakness. Maybe they have a second Sailor and they want a double block. It's not going to work out for them. And the land's perfect. Technically, I could just kill my opponent here if they don't have anything. But the fact that they get back Sailor, if they're willing to chum block, that's fine by me. If they want a double, like double Sailor, double block, then we can blow them out. So that seems unlikely. I don't know, if they have a dive down, I also don't want to be the one initiating the burn spell. So let's just attack and see what happens. And then I can always play a Kefnuts if that's uh, required. Put on jumping. Sure. Down to eight. Play a Kefnuts. They didn't have a counter spell for Adelis a turn before. So maybe they don't have one now. Dire Fleet Poisoner, nice. So that's what uh, Black is for as well. Alright, that's some neat technology. 
doesn't really do much against our flying creatures. And our opponent just explodes. Well, we still had all the tools we needed in hand here. Our hand's a bit land-heavy, so hopefully we don't draw too many more lands. It's a pretty ideal draw. Facing Celestia Guildgate, so unlikely to be a budget Celestia deck, more likely to be Scapeshift. And we do have a lot of flying creatures, which is pretty important against the Scapeshift deck. So something neat that we can do next turn is pump our team with any instant or sorcery to get back a 2 mana cost card from our graveyard with the Arcanist. The Grazer does technically block Atlas. The Fairy bounce Arcanist. Yeah, that's annoying. Definitely want to kill this Teferi, so I guess that means aligning striking the Grazer here and then playing Arcanist. Sure. I guess I could have also cast Lightning Strike on Teferi and just attacked my opponent. And then we kind of give them the choice whether or not they want to chum block with the Grazer. But whenever we give the opponent a choice, that's usually worse than just making the choice ourselves. Lightning Strike in the graveyard, so I guess we'll start with the Charter Course. I don't mind discarding the land anyway. Keep up Double Mountain. That can go. Six, is there any chance I can kill my opponent here? Plus six, 13. I don't think I can quite kill them, but I'm definitely getting close. So let's just attack and then get back another chart, of course, and then play another Arcanist and set up lethal next turn. For now, just get another chart, of course, which now we did attack with the creatures, so we don't have to discard. So that's also nice synergy here. And then we still have two Hasty Stormkins. So even if they do have a Time Wipe, which they're not guaranteed to have, we'll be fine. If they have a Deputy of Detention, I can lining it. So we should be pretty safe. Escape Shifts, I don't think uh, that matters. Because now with the Double Stormkin, we should have enough burn. Yeah, I guess there's a reasonable argument for last turn just going for the Wizard's Lining and then flashback Wizard's Lining with the Arcanus instead, so that maybe Atlas is enough by herself to finish the job. And it's time to unload. Sadly, the second Arcanist can get back the Wizard's Lightning since uh, at the time that the trigger goes on the stack, we need to select the targets. So even though it has three power upon resolution, it's upon the trigger going on the stack that we need to select the targets, at which point the Arcanist only had two power, so not enough to get back the Wizard's Lightning, but still more than enough to kill the opponent. All right, sweet. That was uh, Blue Red or Is It Wizards? Pretty fun deck. The scapeshift matchup is usually favorable just because you have so many flying creatures and a lot of burn to kind of close out the game, even after a scapeshift happens like we saw there. And then, yeah, it has a reasonable matchup against kind of the flash style decks with mono blue and blue green. Uh, not the best against kind of the more controlling decks that can take out your key creatures like Arcanist and Atlas easily and then take over. Um, we don't really like playing against 3 mana Teferi if they can keep that around. 
since it also prevents us from getting value from Arcanist. But uh, yeah, still a pretty fun deck that has a decent chance to win some games in this meta game. So I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.